iPhone. Synchronized counterterrorism with sports counterthoughts. Okay, so. You, your fountain has pinpoint accuracy. And so if someone was attacking America because of our technology, then the motive for that is you develop a technology that has pinpoint accuracy. And so they are attacking that because like for you to be able, like for America was already very powerful and that was why people were attacking America. And so this technology has been revealed now and people are like, there are the Americans who are trying to secure that. And then there are other countries who are trying to attack it. And so that is the motive of the people who are attacking it is they are probably attacking it because it, it makes people too powerful. That's knowledge. That's what it is. That's the enchantment. <laughs> And so they, that's what is happening with the attack, is that they are attacking this thing that has pinpoint accuracy. So in the Spring Hill, Kansas, at the moment, at famous Bunker Hill, <laughs> we're growing to something new. Because you can't just, I can't just miss Elsa. That is a version of me that wasn't that long ago. So that's the old woman, like me. <laughs> and so like Agnar, like at the end of that film, Agnar is like Wart. And like Agnar and Idina, that's Ferris Ford Sr. Um, Agnar and Idina are on that like podium, and then like the the kingdom is like the king has like it's like Simba, right? It's supposed to photo Simba. And so that's where she steps into the tower, and like Agnar, like Elsa, when Elsa like goes into Otto Holland, when she like jumps into that cliff or whatever, like when she jumps into that ice and gets frozen, because I think that that's like my that was like the heat. And so like the, like the, um, like I opened the fountain, but then she just steps into the tower and I also had these redstone blocks, which not everybody would have known. So like I had these redstone blocks that like went and like connected me to the like floor. But then like I deleted those and I deleted the fountain. But for a while that fountain had those redstone blocks on it and then I deleted them. So like that was what happened. That was how they knew to bring me here because like that statue of course that statue of Agnar and Idina like there was a flag on it and then like the, the end of the film there was a statue on it so that was like a lantern so like the only person who had that was me I did that they were looking to see who did that so like when Anna sends that message Elsa says we're going for a ride and then I think that that was what because they were looking for whoever made that but they didn't say that like in, in Tangle they said they were looking for a miracle but she said to Anna, and they'll deserve to stay in with you, which is me. That's what happened. And so then they started looking towards me. And then I started posting stuff because they knew that I was talking to people. So like that was what was happening, but they didn't tell anybody because that was the point. <laughs> um, and so then that was what happened. Is that they, I posted online the, the statue that was in Frozen 2 because that one wasn't in Frozen 1. And so that was how they knew specifically to bring me here, like um, like Amy Amy Adams in um, in Arrival. So like that's the whole point of what happened. They brought me here to do this, not to fund things. And so like that's what's happening now. And so like because I specifically did that in the Frozen Two movie, and then they brought me here because that's what happened. Like Wart with the crown and sword in the stone. That's the whole point of the movie. Is that like I actually like that's Agnar. Like Agnar said that he came home as King of Arendelle, come my darling, homeward bound. That was the whole point of the movie. <laughs> and so then like I that was a lantern, and so then I like arrived here and they're like, Oh, I was like, Oh hi everyone. <laughs> like I kind of like suspected a while ago that I was the king, but I didn't actually know that. But um I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> and so like that's what's happening now. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, so like that's what that was, and that's actually really cool. Um, because I did delete those redstone blocks, so that is just really interesting that those redstone that was a lot of power. That's when she said step into the tower, and then Agnar just like Tito was flying around in the clouds in Phantom Tokyo. Like Agnar literally in the scene where Elsa went down into Otto Holland, like Agnar like swooped down into Arendelle just like Elsa did with the wave. That's what that was. It's so funny. That's hilarious. That's so 
hardest thing in the world. Um, but yeah, so like that's what's happening. Um, and we had to set this legal precedent as well. That was why we deleted that server because like there was no need to do that legal battle. There wasn't. <laughs> it's deleted, and it has also been replaced. <laughs> so like that's the whole point. Is that there doesn't need to we don't need to go to court because I have all of the evidence on the internet. That's the whole point of the story, and that was why they were attacking the magic, and that was why they were attacking my sound team, because it has pinpoint accuracy. It doesn't really need to be, like, criminology is it doesn't need to be complicated. That's the whole point of the story, <laughs> is that, like, that was what happened, because that's why they're attacking me. So it's like, the redstone torch kind of symbolizes, like, I am in here, and, like, I am the author, like, I have the, like, I... Just like Ida with his controller in the battle with Yama, like the objective basically remove the redstone torch. So I'm in here with like three people, and the objective redstone torch. The objective is to remove that. So there are people that are like there. There are people who are attacking the technology. Like the motive for that counterterrorism. The motive for that is that like I have something that has like pinpoint accuracy, and that is like instant. It's like it's instant like um knowledge it's instant like um it's like an instant judicial system like everyone has the right to a fair and just trial and this is a fair and just this is a fair and just trial i uploaded all of the evidence to the internet <laughs> that's why they were attacking me because it has pinpoint accuracy and so the motive here is that like they are attacking this thing because like the like Removing the redstone torch, which is really more of the symbol symbolic of uh, me like being fully independent and fully autonomous, and not having like having to be bogged down by these weird people. Like remo that is what the motive of removing the redstone torch is, and that is their motive to attack me. And so now we can proceed as I am Agnar. I have stepped into my power. <laughs> That's like wart with this in the sword and the stone film. It's the same thing. And like this is also not just like a similar phenomenon that it's like well no, it's not like just like a it's not like a reboot of the sword and the stone movie. Like I am actually King Agnar. I'm not Wart, that's not the same person. And that was what happened, like some of you've been there before. I had like that was what was happening. It's like I saw the sword and the stone movie, but I hadn't really like fully realized that I actually pulled the sword out of the stone when I was born. Probably in watching the movie Aladdin, I pulled the sword out of the stone while I was watching that movie, I bet. That also gives context to why I didn't know that I was the king and why some other people probably didn't know that either. Because I probably did it by watching the film. And that's what was happening. And so there is context for why it, I, there are some people were gaslighting me. <laughs> But some people might have just literally not known, and that's what the whole thing is with the fairies, because like Jasmine kind of seems like a fairy, and then Jafar kind of seems like a leprechaun. So like now we have like the context for what has been happening my whole life is that I was born as a king. I pulled the sword out of the stone, and I saw like I revealed myself as that arrow's baby in the film Aladdin, and so there's the context for why I didn't know that, and other people didn't know that. <laughs> And that's what's been happening my whole life, is Wart is on the throne in, with the crown in, um, in the Sword and the Stone film. And I was on that statue outside of the Eros Temple my whole life, because that's who I am. I am Eros. <laughs> that's what happened. Like, that's what it is. That's what Aladdin is, is I have been, I pulled the sword out of the stone in a whole new world. And I have been in my kingdom, and, like, fairies have been, like, taking photos of me, and Maleficent has, like, Jafar has been, like, Jasmine fairies have taken photos of me, and, like, Maleficent Jafar have been attacking me because I have been, like, Wart Eros at the Eros Temple my whole life, because this is my kingdom. I'm home.